In today's video, as we kick off April 2024, we're going to explore the latest Fallout 4 mods that are a must-have. And let's start by introducing some gameplay mods. First up is Attack of the Lobotomites. This mod features a massive dungeon for exploration, four unique hard bosses and their minions, and the opportunity to assemble powerful weapons like the Proton Axe or the Incendiary Cosmic Knife by collecting unique components. You can also befriend a strange new merchant and take them back to your settlement. The quest has three possible endings, each taking about an hour to complete. It includes voice acting and introduces custom voice actors with unique behaviors and ambush mechanics. If you're interested, head south from Somerville Place to start this quest. Plus, there are plenty of additional items added, so you'll experience a fresh adventure through this mod. Next up is Unique Raider Gangs and Patrols. This mod adds new raider gangs to the Commonwealth. These gangs have unique patrol patterns and provide over 40 new armor sets. The mod supports high compatibility and modular installation, delivered in ESL format. Each gang patrols various roads and buildings in the northern regions of the Commonwealth, from the charismatic and ruthless Cyan Raiders, operated by the renowned Cyan, to the Sun Cultists who follow an unorthodox solar religion, and even the Junk Legion composed of exiled raiders and Brotherhood of Steel remnants from years past, not to mention the Rail Raiders, who aim to claim Commonwealth train tracks as their own. This mod diversifies Fallout 4's raiders, enriching the game experience. Next up is Dynamic Bodyweight. In this mode, your character's physique dynamically updates in the game based on your actions. Whether you exercise, take medication, or eat, or don't eat. Your character's weight reflects these choices. We've implemented dynamic weight similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, your character's weight and muscle mass change more dynamically based on your actions. So, hit the jogging trails and train at the gym in Commonwealth to manage your weight. In this segment, I'd like to introduce some of the latest rifle mods. Since we didn't cover rifles in the previous video, there are Quite a few interesting ones to showcase this time. First up is the Vulcan M. This custom assault rifle features tailored animations, sound, and optional leveled list integration. It's a multi-caliber rifle with a customizable animation for reloading the rear magazine. The optional Robco leveled list patch makes it one of the largest and highest quality mods created for the Vulcan M. The weapon is based on vanilla statistics and uses 5.5x6.45 mm ammunition. For the 5.56mm version, 5.56mm for the 5.45x39mm version, and Nuka World, 7.62mm for the 7.62x39mm version. It also supports various modification options and rail attachments, including automatic beam functionality, making it an excellent performance. Next up is Zenit Re Redux. This mod adds rifles, including the AK-12, AK-74M, AKM assault rifle developed by Mikhail Kalashnikov of Russia. The gunshots and reload animations are quite smooth, and if you add the Takina Zenit AK add-on, you can maximize the weapon's customization options. The firearm design is quite sleek, and overall, it boasts excellent performance. If you've always preferred Zenit, you might want to give this one a try. You can craft this weapon at the chemistry workbench. Next up is the N99C, custom 10mm pistol. This mod adds a N99 10mm pistol, inspired by New Vegas. The reconfigured N99 10mm pistol has slightly better stats than the vanilla 10mm pistol. It drops from raiders and merchants starting at level 3, and if you prefer a weapon that's more vanilla friendly with some modification options, you'll likely enjoy this one. Next up is the Rheinmetall Maschinengewehr 34. This mod adds the MG34, a German recoil-operated air-cooled general-purpose machine gun first tested in 1929 and introduced in 1934 to the game. This weapon utilizes 7.92 cus 57mm Mauser rifle ammunition and offers automatic firing, multiple firing modes, and customizable animations and sound. The left side drum magazine is particularly impressive, and with a maximum firing rate of up to 900 rounds per minute, this gun is a must-have mod for anyone who favors the MG34 in firearm games. So, don't miss out on the opportunity to enhance your Fallout 4 experience with the authenticity and firepower of the Rheinmetall Maschinengewehr 34. 
Next up is the AMR-9. It's a rifle in the form of a submachine gun, boasting a sleek black design and rapid fire rate. Its reload motion is also swift making it a rifle that could prove quite useful in combat situations. You can craft it at the chemistry bench, and it uses a 38-round magazine. And there's the Tactique Vert platform. This mod adds the TAC-56, TAC-M, and TAC-V, each using 5.56 Moen .308 caliber bullets. They're quite recoil heavy, and can be crafted at the chemistry bench or looted from raiders, gunners, or vendors at level 13 or higher. Additionally, the MCW platform adds both the MCW and MCW 6.8 mods. These rifles have significant recoil and produce loud gunshot sounds. You can craft them at the chemistry bench or loot them from raiders, gunners, or vendors who are level 15 or higher. Even without the gunnut perk, you can acquire random attachments and rifles through looting. <laughs> Lastly, there's the FSS Hurricane. This rifle has a design similar to the previously introduced AMR-9 submachine gun. However, it doesn't have a magazine at the bottom and uses 10mm ammunition, giving it a unique feel. The gunshot sound is minimal, and the recoil is almost non-existent. Additionally, the magazine is positioned above the barrel, resulting in a different reload motion compared to other guns. You can craft this firearm at the chemistry bench, and it's obtainable relatively early on at level 10 from raiders or vendors. In this segment, we'll explore several visual-related modes. First up is Clear Horizons. This mode removes distant clouds sitting on the horizons of all external world spaces. It achieves this by initially disabling all placed cloud objects, meaning they still exist but are hidden from the player's view. This ensures maximum compatibility and allows assets to continue being used in weather and other modes. Clear Horizons enhances visuals by eliminating various visually jarring elements, such as the eerie characteristics of static clouds and their interference with the surrounding landscape. Next up is the Diamond City Quick Cleanup mod. This mod removes all trash and unnecessary terrain elements in Diamond City, making the city appear cleaner. It removes everything named trash except for trash cans. Additionally, it clears away broken metal crates scattered throughout, trims overgrown bushes and shrubs, and cleans up muddy ponds. Overall, it enhances the aesthetics of Diamond City by removing terrain clutter and makes it more performance friendly. Next up is the Railroad HQ Cleanup. This mode thoroughly cleans up the railroad headquarters, removing brick piles and debris to make it look neater. Additionally, it updates the nav mesh with a regenerated pre-visualization. While it's a simple feature, it can significantly improve the appearance of the railroad headquarters if you prefer a cleaner environment. Thanks for watching this must-have Fallout 4 mod showcase. If you're looking to enhance your gameplay experience and add some stunning visuals to your rifles, these mods are definitely worth checking out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more mod showcases and gaming content. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with your fellow Wasteland adventurers. Stay tuned for more exciting mod highlights and gameplay tips. Until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.